Hey, what's going on, everybody? Let's talk about overloading a method today. Believe it or not, this is actually something that came up as an interview question for me, so it might actually be something that would be important to learn as you're starting to look for jobs. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Java folder. So let's go ahead and show more options and open with code. Now inside of here, let's make a new file. I'm just going to call this over.java and we're going to make a new class. We're going to say class over and no class is not over. Uh, that's a terrible accidental pun, but please stay with me. We're going to go ahead and make a, a main method now. <laughs> Public static void main string array args. And let's get into it. Woo, I can't type today for some reason. Uh, but inside of this main method, we're going to put some stuff. But before we do, let's go ahead and make another method. We're going to call this method message to keep it simple. We'll say public void message, and we're gonna pass in a string, we'll say X. And then inside of here, all we're gonna do is print X. So we're gonna say system.out.println X. So all that does is take whatever message we have and print it to the console. So here inside of main in order to make sure that that runs properly we're going to have to set our constructor so we're going to say over over equals new over i sound like i'm on like a ham radio or something over <laughs> so let's go ahead and put a semicolon and now we're going to call our method so we'll say over dot message and let's pass in a message here we'll say hello nerd I hope someone gets that reference, <laughs> but let's go ahead and save this now and run it. So we're going to have to open up a terminal and I'm going to change directories to my desktop and my Java folder. And then inside of here, we're going to compile our class. So we're going to say Java C over dot Java, and then we're going to run it with Java over and we get hello nurse, just like we expect. So what exactly is overloading a method we haven't even talked about that and we're probably like two three minutes into this video at this point so overloading a method is when you have two methods or more potentially that have the same name but different signatures now what do i mean by that well let's take a look right here in this method uh the message function here and you can see that I pass in a string X. What if I wanted to do something like this? I'd copy this method almost verbatim and I paste it right below it. But instead of passing in a string X, I say something like Boolean uh, print something different. Actually, let's do it like this, print something different. And then now instead of actually printing X, I say if print something different equals true. Then we want to do a print. We'll just copy this real quick from up here and paste it here and then remove X and we'll say, hello, Mars. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not very creative today, apparently. Uh, but also we could do something like an else and then just do the same thing. But, and then here I'll say, I don't feel like saying hello. No, really. I'm serious. <laughs> so now that we have that, what's going to happen if we tried to call that method? So see how we have over message here? Well, let's do a call to that one. So I'm going to say over message and then we just have to pass in a Boolean. Uh, let's pass in false because I like the other message better for some reason. Uh, make sure to save your code. Let's go ahead and pull up our terminal. And we're going to compile and run. So we'll go compile. Nothing broke. That's a good sign. So let's run it now. So Java over. And we get hello nurse. I don't feel like saying hello. No, really. I'm serious. <laughs> and then you can see here. The reason why we got two messages that were completely different is one. Our very first call to this message was passed hello nurse and it did exactly what we thought it came up to here and said oh hey look at this you passed me a string and i am asking for a string 
Therefore, I will use the string that you gave me and we're going to use this method. But how come when I called this one here, it didn't come to here and try to do anything here? That's because the signatures of these two methods are different. And that's why it's called overloading. Think about it like you're giving it something more. So in this case here, the more that I gave it was a different variable. So I gave it a different signature. The end of it is different. So now because I did that, it comes into here and you're able to run a completely different code against whatever you were looking for. So I was able to get two completely different outcomes because of that. Now, it doesn't only have to be one variable. You can do as many variables as you like. So let's say I did want to do a string here and we'll say X again, just to keep it simple. And then I always want to print out X. So we're going to say system.out.println and we're just going to print X here. Now, this is going to fail if I don't change this because notice now that I have a Boolean, but it's expecting not only a Boolean, but now it's expecting a string. So if I come here and I add to the end of this, we'll say goodbye nurse <laughs> and save it. Now let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So if I open up my terminal again, compile and run, you can see Hello, nurse. I don't feel like saying hello. No, really, I'm serious. And then goodbye, nurse. Well, at least if they weren't serious about saying hello, they at least said goodbye. So that was kind of considerate. But you can see that even though I added new argument to the end of this here, these methods are all the way the same all the way up until the signature. Is that always the case, though? What if we made this return something different? Would that break it? Well, let's find out. So if I come into here and I change this from a void to a string. So now remember by doing this, I have to change the return line. There is no return line in this void because I'm not returning anything. So here, what I could do is just simply return X for that matter. And now this will function. However, it's not going to do exactly what I think it's going to do because returning X is basically saying I'm returning what's being passed in. Let's get rid of this system.out.print here real quick. And instead of doing this here the way we have it, we can now just put system.out.print around it. So let's do system.out.println. And we're going to put our parentheses around the function. And now, because remember, we're returning a string here. So the reason why this is going to work, at least I hope it's going to work. Uh, the reason why it's going to work is because this method's returning a string. So let's save this now and let's run it again. So we're going to compile. Nothing broke. Good sign. And let's run it. And you can see that we get basically the exact same output. So whenever you're overloading a method, you can do several changes to the method itself, but there's a couple of key characteristics here that you want to keep in mind. Number one, you're always going to have different parameters. That is one of the most important things to consider when you're overloading a method. But number two, the method name has to be the same. So you can see here the method name is message in both of these instances for both of these methods. But number three, they don't even have to have the same return type. They can be completely different return types. So those are the basics of overloading a method. Not too bad, right? <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you understand how to overload a method now. I know it can kind of seem a little bit tricky, but believe it or not, this might be a question that you get asked in the wild and uh, I want to make sure that you're prepared to answer it. Um, we've got probably one more video left in the beginner series that I want to do. And that's going to be something similar. It's called overriding a method. And uh, we might even have that released today. I might do a double feature, but we'll see. Uh, in either case, IMDB, you are you. Let's keep rocking and let's keep learning. Peace out, everybody.